It was almost four in the morning, and I still couldn't bring myself to sleep. My crying had subsided, but every few minutes I remembered my father yelling at me. Haven't I taught you better? You know how wrong it is to even think about building a plane! You were the one who wanted me to do something different! Not illegal, Scylla! And you gave money to that boy without my consent! You don't know what you've done, do you? Everyone turned and stared at me when Romaine walked on stage and told everyone what you had done! They looked down on our family, as if we were the ones who disgraced our people! No, they won't! They'll blame it on Eddie! They'll... I just wanted you to be happy with me, Daddy. I screwed up. I screwed up so much. I didn't know how I was going to face my family in the morning. I didn't know how I was going to perform in the ballet, either. I couldn't go back. People were relying on me. But at the same time, they looked down on me. I didn't know if I had the energy to show up anywhere where people would know what Edelin and I had done. I didn't even know if Edelin would forgive me after everything I'd put him through. I didn't think I'd ever forgive myself, even if I did receive his forgiveness. I wanted to see him so badly, but I was afraid. I sat up and gazed at a single luggage with my purse sitting on top. In one of my calmer moments, when I still had energy, I'd packed a few clothes and smaller things, like the gadgets I was still working on. I only had a little money on me. Because wherever I was going, money didn't matter as much as it did at home. I wanted to leave before sunrise, and I still had a lot of time. I brought my luggage to the window. There weren't really any fragile objects inside, so I tossed the luggage and my purse out the window into a bush, where it landed quietly enough outside the den. I took one last look around my room before climbing out. I started down the empty street. Nobody else was awake down the block, and I realized that I had never felt so lonely before. The sky was a very dark blue, but still lighter than black. The stars would soon disappear, but I still had the polar highway glimmering in the sky to lead my way. I had taken the route I had walked many times before, and though I walked almost aimlessly, I found myself in Court Square. I took one last look around the area before heading towards the police station. I stared at the station from far away. I had to do it tonight. He was going on trial tomorrow, and they would transfer him to another prison. After taking a deep breath, I stepped forward, ready to face whatever challenges. Just as I was planning on an approach of attack, I heard a distinguishable sound. I looked up and saw the blinking lights of none other than our plane. It was just starting to land, and I ran toward it. I left paved ground and found myself running across grasslands, tears coming to my eyes as I ran after the plane. It finally landed, but I still couldn't keep up. It was still rolling to a stop, and the pilot hopped out of the cockpit as it slowed down. I dropped my luggage and left it behind, running into his arms. Eddie! Eddie! What are you doing here? <laughs> I came to rescue you. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Well, how did you know I was here? That tracking thing. Come on, we have to leave before anyone stops us. <laughs> Where are we going? Well, earlier tonight, Relica came to my jail cell. She had silenced the alarms and rigged the security cameras so the guards couldn't tell something was wrong unless they checked in person. She broke away the outside wall. Eddie, wake up! R Relica? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. We have to go. Come on, hurry! Here, take this. You're going to Kosio. What? I already have a passport ready for you in there. You can't stay here anymore. It's too dangerous. I can't just let... I just want you to... You'll be free on Kosio. Nobody will know what you've done. I'll take care of things here. I'll, I'll explain everything to Mom and Dad when they get back. 
taking Scylla with me. Take care of her. <laughs> I'm going to miss you. Oh, I hate myself for doing this to you. You better take care of yourself, okay? I will. I love you, Eddie. I love you too. Now go find that plane and get out of here. All right. I'll come back here one of these days. I promise. I know you will. Hurry up. <laughs> We really are doing this. Do you have any regrets? No. It's better if I leave. If we both do. There's no one else I'd go to Kosiel with, but you. It'll be alright. We can fly, and no one will judge us. I'll race, and you can dance, and we can... We can build our own company together. Yeah, just think about it. We can be revolutionary. We weren't far from the Polar Highway entrance. A long road of light connected Plasia to Kosio, and there were small ships on which cargo and passengers rode in transit to both ports. We flew by the checkpoint without a problem, with the help of the passport the Relic had given me, that is. Our plane flew into the light of the highway. We soared over the other small cargo ships, protected in the long stream from planet to planet. With our futures ahead of us... We watched the most beautiful sunrise over the horizon of our home and former planet. <laughs>